Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit, my name is Paul Anthony and in today's video we're going to be reviewing a watch that I personally own which is the Omega Speedmaster CK2998. This is the one that was released in 2018 and it features the pulse on motor scale. So here we are, the actual watch itself on the wrist, but as many of you may or may not know, uh, Amiga watches come uh, from the boutiques or from an authorized dealer actually in a clamshell, so the watch itself isn't actually in the box provider. But what we're gonna do is a quick unboxing of what box you may choose to store the watch in after you've purchased it. This actually came in a cardboard box, and then it had a kind of a similar colored uh, black kind of cardboard sleeve around it. And then we get to reveal the first kind of Amiga label box itself. Uh, once you take the, uh, the top lid off, uh, you're gonna be opening up here. You can see the Amiga uh, Speedmaster Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so it's got some interesting little bits and pieces in. It also tells you how to use the pulse meter on the wrist, which uh, if some of you aren't aware, uh, this actually allows you to um, basically tell your heart rate of yourself or uh, an unsuspecting victim that you may want to measure their pulse on. It also got some of the further details of the watch that we're going to go into a little bit more detail later on in the video. Uh, getting back to the box, uh, many of you know that uh, have seen my review on the uh, Amiga Seamaster Spectre limited edition. That is one of the best boxes I think I've ever owned personally and seen myself. Uh, this one's a little bit more understated. It's got kind of a wood finish here with the, the Amiga logo on top. Nice little push pin uh, to reveal the uh, Speedmaster with limited edition at the uh, the back of the box there. Hopefully the, the lighting is okay. Um, nice little watch pad here. Um, I typically don't actually use the boxes. Um, that much uh, just because I have a, a, a decent sized collection so it actually makes it easier for me just to kind of store them in a watch box but it is nice to kind of see what value you're getting and I think this is something that um, Amiga does um, provide um, decent value um, on for the price point of the watch which is the quality and innovation in their boxes then in the side here we have kind of the um, the instruction manual um, as a pretty much a uh, Kind of chronograph with no kind of extra special complications and a manual wind um, there won't really be too much um, you need to really know about how to operate this watch um, and then we can also see um, the warranty cards itself i bought this watch um, from the las vegas boutique thanks lynn if you're watching this um, back in july so there we have it there's the box and then we shall jump into looking at the watch itself So here we go, here's your watch itself. I'm gonna just start the uh, the chronograph function on the uh, the pump pusher here at two o'clock just so you can kind of see how that works. So now we're off to the races. So let's uh, jump in a little bit to this watch itself. Uh, the original uh, CK2998 was introduced in 1959 and it was actually the first watch in space in uh, 1962. So Amiga really wanted to kind of push this, not being the kind of the professional, but the pre-professional uh, Speedmaster itself. Back in 1959, this came in four different bezel options, the CK, the tachometer, which was to register speed, and that was the kind of the 2016 release that was in the, the blue version. Then we had this 2018 release here that we can see in front of us with the pulsometric scale so this one is actually for 30 pulsations so what you would do is you would start the chronograph um, at the same time record 30 pulsations and whenever you stop the chronograph then that would record the beats per minute that the patient or yourself's um, heart rate was actually beating at it also came in a decimal scale a telemeter scale as well So what's inside this watch? Well, we have the Amiga Caliber 1861, which is deeply rooted in Moon Watch history. It's obviously a stalwart of the Amiga Speedmaster lineup, so uh, not too much more we can say about that. Uh, if we look on the, um, the back of the case, we can see the uh, Amiga uh, Seahorse Medallion, which is nice there. Time to touch it back onto the movement. This is a manual only movement, so you are gonna have to wind it every day. However, with that being said, there is a 48 hour power reserve. If we zoom in on the face here a little bit more, we can see that the uh, Alpine hands, um, this has a, a straight uh, chronograph seconds hand, and that was one of the things I didn't like 
compared to the uh, 2016 release, which had the, uh, the lollipop hand, but it is nice in red there that does contrast um, strongly with the face. As you can see, this is a panda dial, and I think we're just catching it there on the camera that there is a slight um, kind of sandblasted effect to the white of the dial, uh, which adds a bit more texture and uh, depth to, um, to what we're gonna have when we're wearing, compared again to the 2016 um, version. Uh, if we get into some of the case dimensions, uh, we have this is the exact same size as the 2016 release, so not much difference there. 39.7 millimeters, very precise. I like to use these uh, these plastic calipers as to not to to damage any of the watch parts. But as you can uh, probably guess here, you're only going to get within probably 0.5 of a millimeter. So what I'm recording here on my end, uh, case to crown measurement is going to be 41.5 millimeters lug to lug which is the width from end to end here that's coming in at 47 millimeters the case is relatively deep um, which is kind of a common i suppose problem or observation within the amiga lineup at 14.5 millimeters deep and the strap width is 19 uh, millimeters one thing that i thought was kind of strange is as this is kind of more of a kind of a medical complication uh, with respect to the pulsation bezel scale is that this perforated uh, strap here reminds me more of a racing inspired strap design so i thought that was kind of maybe a little bit off base but as you'd expect from a, a watch that retails at sixty five hundred dollars very nicely made um, no complaints on the strap uh, the watch is also water resistant to 50 meters so you know by no means a diver wouldn't probably even go swimming with this one um, as you can see there the exposed uh, pump pushers so if uh, for you guys who want to know the exact reference number of this watch, the reference number is 311-3240-30-02-001. So that's a nice long reference number there, as you'd expect from the Amiga Speedmaster, which has had more than one or two iterations in its lifetime. So with all of that being said, I think we're going to um, jump to the pros and cons of the watch and who, who this watch may be good for. I actually forgot to mention two things while having that talking hand video, which was there, the bezel itself is actually a ceramic insert and the, uh, it is a sapphire crystal as well. So just thought I'd mention that for you guys as well. Uh, gonna go into the pros and cons. The pros of the watch are, one, it obviously looks great and the Panda dials have always been in fashion and probably always will be in fashion. Having said that, I do probably favor the initial 2016 release being blue, however, this black and white version may stand the test of time a little bit better. It is limited to 2,998 pieces, which is nice. Um, I do actually love the fact it has got the vintage uh, Omega uh, or Omega if you're on the American side of the pond uh, logo. So that's a nice little touch as well. Uh, some of the cons of the watch is uh, what you're always gonna kind of get with the Speedmaster line, which is only water resistance to 50 meters. Um, so that kind of limits some of the activities that you can do in them. I also thought that the kind of drive-in perforated strap was a little bit off. Uh, and one of the other downsides or cons of the watches is that we've already done two of the bezel scales. So uh, as I own both of those, am I now pot committed to buy two more Amigas when they bring them out in the future? But that may be relatively interesting to see what colors they come out with. Maybe they do the telemeter scale where they come out with a green ceramic insert. And if they go further to do the uh, decimal scale, are they gonna go on and do something like a deep maroon? Um, I would obviously love purple. As many of you know, purple is my favorite color. However, I doubt Amiga is probably gonna release a watch of 3000 units in a purple colorway. Um, with all of that being said, let me know your thoughts below. And if you think that this is a good series to continue for Amiga with that different bezel scales. We also have links below to bespokenit.com where we went into the different types of bezel scales and how they may be used. And obviously you can use this as just a regular good old timer itself up to 12 hours. Um, just the bezel adds additional functionality. So that's not the only way that you're gonna be using the chronograph function on a watch like this, even though we have somewhat focused on it in this video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Please check out the links below to other watch videos we have as well as many other men's lifestyle topics, including cigars, whiskey, suits, shoes, travel, and many more. My name is Paul Anthony from Bespoke In It, and I'll see you next time.